treated better. And then before you know it, he takes advantage of you, and you're like, how did this happen? Or you have the guy who, this they made movies, friends would benefit. Look, I never said we were together. I never committed to you. We're just friends. And we're just friends who happen to do things. This is the 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 results and the spirit of dating. And so there has to be a better way. There has to be something else. God, um, in his wisdom, who loves people, like God really loves people. God does not intend for people to wreck their lives. Like that's not, that's not God. God's not thinking, okay, how can these people wreck their lives? God in his law lays out his law. If you follow this, you will live. His word is, is the Bible says that his word is like a lamp to my feet, a light to my path. You think about walking in to where you're going. So God in his kindness, in the scripture, there must be something better than this stuff of dating. So which brings us to courtship. Now, admittedly, you're not going to find courtship in the scripture. That term is not there. You're not going to find a passage that says, when you meet a young lady, this is how you are to carry it on until marriage. You're not going to find that. But what we do find is principles, principles that lay out something better than the foolishness of dating. And people have coined it courtship. You call it whatever you want to. Um, so let's, uh, this is a definition that you know, I came up with based upon what I see in the actual content of courtship. And y'all let me know whether or not this is dope or if it needs something needs to be erased or whatever. So I got two Christians who are prepared for marriage, who have been inspected and approved before feelings are gained, held accountable to their parents, authority, elders, pastors, and peers to avoid sexual sin and emotional sin, and will marry in a short period of time. A long definition. <laughs> Probably made all kind of grammatical errors in that joint there. Um, but that's, that's what I came up with. Um, so, sure. <laughs> Good thing I wrote it down. Two Christians who are prepared for marriage, who have been inspected and approved before feelings are gained, held accountable to their parents slash authority, elders slash pastors, and peers to avoid sexual sin and emotional sin and will marry in a short period of time. And so I tried to go through each. Yeah. I would, I would just like to I would Great question, and what the intention, Lord willing, is to get through each one of those, right, yeah, bullets to go into it a little deeper. We may not get to the, based upon time, we may not get to how short is short, and I'm not the standard. Like, the last thing I want to do is be somebody's conscience, because I'm not. The Lord has given everyone a conscience, um, but to skip ahead and then go back, the the point of it being short is so that you avoid temptation. And again, what's the point of it being long in the first place? Some people have like a year, two year long engagements. Mm -hmm. Like, what's the point? You already know you want to marry this person. Mm -hmm. Why wait? But we'll get to that. Um, or willing. All right. So I said two Christians. Why two Christians? We talked about this. Uh, last week with the dating thing, we know the scripture says that bad company corrupts good morals, right? Um, he who walks with wise men will be wise, but a companion of fools will be destroyed. What fellowship has darkness with light? Um, how can two walk together unless they what? Agree, right? <laughs> two people can't walk together unless they agree. Um, you know, again, I want to go to church. I want to go to the club. Well, we, we got to part ways. Either you're going to go with me, I'm going to go with you, or we're part ways. We cannot walk together unless we agree. Um, what 
what ends up, you know, so if you have a, a lost man and a, and a saved woman, um, just things to consider. If he turns up the Jesus juice, <laughs> when you bring it up, like for instance, before you met him, he was wilding out, he was in the club, he was doing his thing, but then you come along and suddenly he has an epiphany. Like, oh yes, you know what? I was thinking about reading the Bible like a week before you came. That's real coincidental. Very convenient that that worked out that way. Um, because, ah, okay. Be because the man is supposed to lead the husband is supposed to lead the wife spiritually. Now, I don't know much about sports, um, but what I do know is in a relay race, I don't even know if that's considered in sports. Is that a question? Yes. Yeah. All right. Okay, like say you're, you're a good man, right, and you're interested in somebody and you're watching them, you're seeing how she reacts when she gets sent again for her applause, okay, so yeah. So you jump in the head. Go ahead, go ahead. Right? Yeah. And she don't know that you like her, so you approach, you know, you go talk to your pastor, you go talk to your You just go, he's jumping all ahead. Go ahead, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay, then how would, I guess how would she, I guess, respond, like how would does that even work? Like how would she even know that you were? Patience. Like, how I got how, you. How would you know that she likes you back? I got you. I got you. Hold up. We, 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 we got, I'm going I'm to answer that. Because that's a great, great question. And it always comes up. Um, relay race. Okay. The, so they correct me if I'm wrong. Y'all track people. Forgive me if I'm messing up all these terms because I don't do sports. But, all right. So in a relay race, somebody starts out running, right? Somebody's already at the next spot, right? So you, they got the baton. Do they stand still and then they pass the baton or are they supposed to start running, right? Because th there is genius to that system because if they're just standing still and you stop and then hand it to them and then they run, y'all aren't going to win that race. They already need to be running in order to pass off the baton so they can go further. If you are relying on your spiritual leader to lead you and they're not already running, they're not already taking off. Like, were they already seeking the Lord before you met him? Were they already getting it in in the scripture before you showed up? Were they already pursuing purity um, before you came on the scene? If not, it's very likely that you're the reason. Um, same thing with the fellas. Look, if 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 she was not pursuing Christ when you met her, but suddenly she is now, um, it's a very good chance that she's doing that because of you. And if she's doing that because of you, you are not motivation enough to last in the Christian life. Only Christ is. The Christian life brings all manner of persecution, suffering, tribulation, mockery. Um, the Lord told us, look, they called me a devil. What do you think they're going to call you? Christianity, we are told everyone who desires to live a godly life in Christ Jesus will be persecuted. We are told that if, if we want to reign with him, we must suffer with him. We're told if anyone will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross daily and follow me. Christianity is difficult, <laughs> and we're told in the parable of the soils that people will fall away because of hard times. People will fall away because of the pursuit of riches and pleasure and all that the world has to offer. So if you're their motivation for following Christ, and you let them down, and all this other stuff is calling their name, their mother dies, they lose their job, they get cancer, you ain't that cute <laughs> to make them say, you know what, I want to keep following this Jesus stuff. You're not. Christ, on the other hand, is such a treasure that even when Job lost everything that he had, he said, though he slay me, yet will I trust in him. Psalm 73, you got Asaph who says, whom have I in heaven but thee, and there's nothing upon earth I desire besides thee. Though my flesh and my heart may fail, the Lord is my strength and my portion forever. Only Christ is treasure enough 
that people were willing to face hungry lions and burning stakes and the and the Muslim sword as their heads are being chopped off and they're doing it singing hymns with joy because they know I'm going to see my Lord I'm going to see the King I'm going to see my Savior say it again like a reality yeah absolutely yeah abs abs